In this video, I'm going to walk you through an example of how we used AI to write over 50% of a cool email campaigns copy. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Leonardo. I've been able to produce results like these just by using cold email. And one of the strategies that we use for clients is the clay table, highly personalized strategy, highly relevant strategy. In this video, I want to walk you through exactly how we do that, right? So let's dive in immediately. Now to give you some more context, this is an example of a campaign we've been running for a client, we run for a client, and I'm gonna give you some more context about their offer. So essentially the client specializes in digital certificates and producing uh, these certificates to help brands connect directly with uh, customers, essentially improving the relationship with customers increasing customer often value uh, LTV without relying on cookies, right? So they produce or uh, they provide solutions for navigating the transition away from cookie-based tracking. There's also uh, a feature of their service, right? And basically this is the uh, cool email campaign copy. And then in this clay table, what we do is we create the suggestion uh, custom field, right? So the, the cold email campaign copy is essentially we help brands implement digital certificates to connect directly with customers, increasing life and value. It's very simple, very straightforward point. And then we give an example, right? For example, and then we give a suggestion or an example of how the brand that we're reaching out to can use uh, our client's technology to uh, essentially do what we state as the first line here as the benefit, right? And then we use, uh, this is, it was actually, one of these variants that we tested for this client. Uh, are you the right person to speak to about this? But we also tested uh, mind if I send more info. And also, we also tested a more harder call to action like um, are you available for a quick call to discuss this further, right? But for the sake of this example, I'm just going to keep this one. And then the second, uh, actually, let me walk you through the first suggestion because then it just gets confusing, right? So suggestion number one, this is what we're creating right here. And basically, uh, this is a very simple prompt. It's actually not really, really simple. Uh, so it took some time for us to come up with this prompt, prompt and make it perfect. Um, and essentially what we're saying here is visit the following website and we input the website of the company of the brand that we're reaching out to and come up with a creative idea of how the e-commerce brand that we're reaching out to that owns the website can use the following technology. And then here, we essentially describe our client's technology. And so this is basically just a, summer, a summary of what I just uh, described. So this technology is an AI-powered blockchain service platform uh, offering secure solution for industries. This is quite a general web road uh, description. The aim is to generate new revenue streams, increase uh, and create immersive, immersive digital experiences. This technology provides a comparative platforms for service integration implement, implementation of blockchain technologies. Um, in particular, for e-commerce brands, this technology allows the creation of digital certificates, enabling digital experiences and promotions. Just a couple of examples. These certificates can be used for authenticity, verification, loyalty uh, programs, interactive product-related content, and asset customer engagement and often value. So these are just some examples that we put in as the uh, kind of the feature or the benefits that those uh, digital certificates can bring to uh, the prospects, right? Now, this is the last part or another part of the prompt before coming up with the idea. Visit the website of this company and determine what types of products the company sells. This is crucial because otherwise, if we don't know what types of products uh, you know, the company that we're actually going to sell, uh, it doesn't even make sense to come up with a prompt because it's not going to be accurate, right? So first of all, we need to make sure we know the products, we understand what the products, what products the, the company is selling. Then come up with an example of how uh, the brand could use this technology in relation to their products. Give an actionable idea, something that someone can easily imagine in real, right? And this is basically an iteration that I wrote because this prompt was just giving way too broad, way too general ideas that were very abstract and very hard to imagine in real. Obviously, the digital certificate is going to bring some, some concrete benefit to the client. So we want, we want the suggestion or whatever we're, we're running here with the personalization to be, you know, to be real, right? Then frame the text as if you were uh, talking to the director of operations who works 
uh, at that company. And I'm saying this because in this campaign specifically, we're reaching out to directors of operations and similar titles. So this also can improve, this can also improve, you know, the language that um, the AI uh, uses to create the output. Frame the text as a suggestion, not as an order or a call to action. Sometimes it was just giving like a call to action, like do this to get X, right? We want to make it uh, as a as a suggestion, right? So for example, you could create additional certificates like uh, like it's doing here, right? Not as an order. And then uh, use natural words. Start the output with you could create a certificate uh, and make the suggestion as specific as possible to the brand's products, right? or make it as specific as possible um, to their products. Otherwise, it will just come off as a very broad suggestion that can easily be sent to any I don't know, apparel brand or any e-commerce brand, right? Or we want, to make it, we want to make it as specific as possible. Don't use more than 40 words in the output. This is because you know I just want it to be very short. And don't use any reference to the name of the company selling this, this technology. And then we basically gave a couple of examples this is, by the way, the clay gen feature of uh, clay.com. This is a very useful feature used all the time. And you can also create, uh, you can also add examples right here. Like, for example, Nike.com. And this is uh, an example at, that I manually wrote. So the output could be, you could create the certificate for uh, with a unique QR code for premium sneakers, offering exclusive experiences like virtual customizations, uh, behind the scenes content and early product access, ensuring authenticity and inter interactive engagement. So this is basically the concrete uh, feature, exclusive experiences like virtual customization, behind the scenes content and early product access, access. And then this is kind of the benefit, ensuring authenticity and interactive engagement, right? Another benefit could be improving lifetime value. This is another example of um, you know two well-known companies. Well, this is Starbucks.com, and the output uh, could be you could issue digital certificates with QR codes um, on coffee blend packaging, unlocking personalized experiences like loyalty points, special offers, digital tours um, uh, of the source farms. This uh, would improve customer engagement and, and connection through storytelling ex and exclusivity. Right again, features first and then benefits um, as the last part of the output. Right, and then here we use this is basically the model. So we use GPT 4 uh, Turbo, and those are pretty much standard settings as well. So let's see what it comes up with. And here, this is like the lead list that we used for uh, this campaign. Now, obviously, those companies are not really well known. So I added you know, a couple or a few well-known companies like Adidas.com, uh, Coca-Cola, Adidas, and Gymshark. And so let's see what the output is right here. So for Adidas.com, the output would be you could uh, create a digital certificate for limited editions, uh, limited edition shoes, enabling customers to unlock interactive content like virtual try-ons, design inspiration stories, loyalty points, making purchase experience unique and verified. Pretty good output. I am quite satisfied with it. And then Coca-Cola.com, let's see. You could create the certificate with a, new, a unique QR code for personalized Coca-Cola balls, unlocking exclusive experiences like virtual factor tours, uh, custom ball design options, and access to special promotions, enhancing customer engagement and brand loyalty. Pretty good as well. Um, so we've got the features, exclusive experiences, um, custom ball design options, access to special promotions, and then the main benefits, right? Improving customer engagement and uh, brand loyalty, right? Obviously, um, with Coldiva, you not only want to talk about benefits because I could just say I can improve your customer engagement and brand loyalty and no one is going to care because it didn't, didn't write how, right? And then adu.com, let's see. You could create a digital certificate with a QR code uh, for the Wally and Wendy shoes. I guess these are uh, types of shoes or models. Um, offering authenticity verification, exclusive how to style videos and access to limited pre limited time promotions, uh, ensuring a unique and engaging customer experience. It's pretty yeah pretty fair I would say. How to style videos, 
access to limited time promotions. Like the, the way um, and the reason why I like to use AI with this client, with this campaign specifically, is that AI is probably more um, creative than me and so or any other person. So um, if I get to hire someone to write this, they wouldn't be so creative to, to come up with this stuff um, as AI. And well, that would probably cost 10, if not 100 times more to hire someone in house rather than, you know, just creating a prompt inside Clay.com with AI and running it for, as you can see, a thousand leads. You can literally run this with as many leads as you want. It's the same prompt. It's going to come up with a different suggestion, different personalization for every single lead. So as you can see, the leverage is pretty good right here. Let's see another example, which is gymshark.com. I just want to go to gymshark.com because maybe you don't know what they do. This is basically, um, yeah, this is basically apparel for people going to the gym, right? Uh, or gym enthusiasts. So let's see, you know, the, the output. You can create these certificates with unique QR codes for premium activewear, offering virtual workout sessions, fitness tracking, exclusive discounts, ensuring product authenticity and engaging customers with interactive health and fitness content. Now, this is pretty good. This is actually pretty good. Um, you know, offering virtual workout sessions, fitness, fitness tracking, and exclusive discounts. This, these, again, are all ideas that we can write about and that we can give to the prospect. And if they are interested, they are curious, they will reply back with interest, right? And then we can enter a sales conversation from there. Uh, these are just some ideas, and I think those are very, uh, you know, very valid. And again, um, benefits here as well, right? So the this is the this is the first suggestion that we came up with. There's also another suggestion, another um, kind of custom field that we used in this campaign, and that was within you know the second um, the second step right here, right? So the second step is. How is company planning to handle uh, cookie facing uh, Google facing our cookies? And this is this was just a pain point of you know brands that we're reaching out to uh, when it comes to using cookies. We recently hosted a webinar on brands can prepare for cookie less words, uh, cookie less word my fashion link that we're recording here now. Here we just uh, offered a webinar also uh, as a lead magnet, um, but the true the true uh, you know the 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 true custom field that we're using here is a suggestion uh, number two, which is in the PS line, which um, you might say, you might think otherwise, but actually the PS line is the most read section of a, a cold email or in general of an email, right? So we put here the second suggestion. So let's see. Now the prompt to the second suggestion uh, was a bit different. Uh, it wasn't obviously completely different because it's still another suggestion of basically about how the brand that we're reaching out to can use this technology to um, issue digital certificates and get benefits for their customers. So let's see the prompt that I created here. Visit the following website again and come up with a creative idea of how the e-commerce brand that owns, owns this website can use the following technology. And again, this is the, uh, the, this, the first part of the description of the technology was the same. What actually changes here because I wanted to uh, I wanted this suggestion suggestion number two to essentially talk about and be about NFTs or QR codes or augmented reality, right? Those three things specifically that our client focuses on. And so um, the second part of the description is for e-commerce brands. This technolo technology allows the usage of augmented reality, QR codes, and non-fungible tokens to improve customers' experience, connect directly with customers, and increase Left and bad, right? So in this part of the description, I specifically talk about FT, NFTs, QR codes, and augmented reality. Before coming up with the idea, uh, visit the website again. This is, I think it's the same part of the prompt. Um, and then this changes. So then come up with an example of how the, the brand could use augmented reality, QR codes, and NFTs um, to in relation to their products. You don't have to necessarily include all of these three technologies and the suggestion. And this is because um, you know, some of the outputs that it was uh, giving out, basically it was just forcing to use, it was just trying to force 
all of those technologies into just one output you know, that was shorter than 50 words, right? Which sometimes, you know, it's not that, that good to, to read, right? So you might want to be more specific and rather than using, you know, all of those three technologies, just use one and be more specific with it. So that's why I include the sentence. Use one, uh, you use the ones that uh, make the most sense for each company, even actionable ideas, something that someone can easily imagine being real, right? Frame the text as if you were talking to the director of operations who works in this company. Again, the same sentence that I used in the first prompt um, that frame the text as a suggestion, not an order or a call to action, use actual words, start the output. Now, this is different because we want to start the output since we're using the sentence in the PS line, we want to start with have you ever uh, considered, have you ever thought about, uh, and then the suggestion, right? Have you ever thought about, for example, creating this digital certificate or creating this NFT for your product to do this, right? Or to get XYZ benefit. Make the suggestion as specific as possible to the brand's products and use more than 50 words on the output and don't reference the name of the company selling this technology. And here are a few examples. So I gave him a few examples in this case, Patagon.com, um, Crocs.com, and A.com. Now, Patagon.com, have you ever thought about using open reality to visualize how Patagonia's outdoor jackets look in different environments, like on a mountain peak or at a ski resort? This is pretty good. Like, this is very specific to the brand's products, right? This is calling out the outdoor jackets of you know, Patagonia's outdoor jackets and how they function. So, you know, how they, they can look in different environments. And this is a very, very curious idea, right? How they can look in different environments, like on a mountain peak or a ski resort. It's pretty good. And then the benefit sentence, um, as always, this interactive experience can enhance customer engagement and showcase product performance. Crocs of common, let's see another example. Have you ever thought about using uh, augmented reality to enable customers to virtually try on different styles of Crocs shoes before making the purchase? Yeah, pretty specific, this one as well. And then uh, benefit this interactive experience could enhance customer engagement and confidence in their selection. Yeah, pretty accurate, I would say. And then another example, adu.com. So yeah, this is actually pretty similar to the one that we just saw, so Crocs.com, because both our football brands. So let's see uh, what it came up with as for the second suggestion. So let's see Coca-Cola.com because Adidas.com. I can imagine this is going to be pretty similar to Crocs and Aided because this is another uh, football brand. So let's see Coca-Cola.com. Have you ever thought about using augmented reality to allow customers to virtually customize their Coca-Cola bottles with specific designs for holiday or events? This is a pretty curious idea. Like I would never, like me personally, I would never think about this if I had to do to, to write this manually, right? That, that's why I think this uh, campaign was the perfect example um, of how you can use AI to write better emails, essentially. This interactive experience can create personalized products and announce or increase customer engagement with the brand. Okay, this is the benefit. And then AD, we just, you know, we already saw this. Jim Shaw will come, let's see what it came up with. Have you ever thought about using augmented reality to let customers visualize uh, gym sharks, leggings, and different workout settings? Pretty, pretty good. I would say pretty good. Um, this interactive experience can enhance engagement and showcase style and performance. Yeah, this is, this is pretty good. Like, I, you know, if you received an email like this, you would never think that this is written by AI. You would probably think that someone took the time to go on your website um, and research what you do and come up with some specific example or specific suggestion on how you could use their technology or how you could use that product, right? And that was pretty much it for this video. I hope you got some value from it. Now, if you want us to run a similar campaign like this for your B2B business and book you 30 meetings with your relevant decision makers and your ideal clients in the next six months on a pay per show basis, book a call with me below and we'll see if we can help you. That being said, I appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.